369 Ranch back with another video. Today we're going to talk about dog genetics. And there are a lot of things that we find fascinating about canine genetics. We did a small short video earlier about this topic, um, mainly about a book that I've been reading and then a related NIH study that shows something called a cladogram. And we'll go into that in just a moment. And what a cladogram is based off of are the different clades that each canine, each canine breed comes from. And what that is, is a maternal ancestor that they can trace back to that specific animal. Now, the book that I was reading talks about four clades, meaning four actual wolves that all of the breeds could be traced back to. The NIH study goes a little deeper now that we're about 20 years further down the road with genetics and talks about 29 clades that the dog breeds can be traced back to. Even here, as you can see in our B-roll video with our Anatolian Shepherd, our Kelpie herding dog, and the miniature Dachshund, you can see this great variety within the canine species. And that tells a bigger story. What's really interesting about it is that, and they even go into this in one of the papers, is that this confounds their theory of gene mutation for all the different things that have gone on throughout the history of time with all these different animal species. And what we actually see, I think, is genetic possibility that was built in from the beginning by the designer that got selected, hyper-selected even by human beings and, of course, environment. Environment being um, not only what we think about with weather, terrain, but diet, etc., the roles that these dogs were selected to fill, on and on. And you can see as you look through these, one, one other fact that's somewhat obvious, but still nonetheless very interesting. All of the herding dogs can be traced back to one of these major clades. All of the livestock guardian dogs, for the most part, back through one bottle, bottleneck. And what that is, is mitochondrial DNA. There was a mother canine all the way back actually to a wolf, but then you have a little further generations down the road, but an actual individual mother through mitochondrial DNA that they can trace back to these breeds. And the NIH study is really fascinating. They used over 1,300 dogs they sampled them. They represented, I think, 160 plus breeds. And through that, they used the boxer, I believe, as a baseline. But they were able to show in this cladogram that I'll throw up on the screen here, just how all these breeds are related and, and how they go back through their ancestral line. As you can see, I'll go ahead here with uh, Zoe, um, our Kelpie herding dog. You can see that she's grouped here with other herding dogs. And as we pan over to um, our Anatolian Shepherd, we have Odin here and then Thor out at the ranch. You can see some other livestock guardian dog breeds right there with them and you can trace those bottlenecks back. And then of course, our little miniature dachshund, his bigger ancestors were bred to actually go down holes and uh, fight badgers. So, explains why he's such a stubborn little dog, even though he's a miniature right now. But you can see the relatives related there between some of the terriers. And I forget what the other, the other breeds were that came together for that. But obviously canine genetics, just a fascinating story. It plays a huge role here for 369 Ranch because we use these dogs for their purpose. Yes, we have an Anatolian Shepherd at home, but we also have one out guarding our livestock. And I think that both of those jobs, both of those purposes speak to the genetics and the selection in that breed. Zoe lives here at home with us, but goes to work constantly herding livestock. Watson, he just kind of cleans stuff up off the floor. We'll figure out his purpose other than companion, which is an obvious purpose of almost every canine. But I hope you stick with us. Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in to all of our YouTube shorts. We'll keep you up to date as this monstrous puppy continues to grow, and as we get more information on dog genetics. Thanks a lot. You know all the buttons to hit. We'll see you next time.